What's up everybody, how's it going? I just had a quick video for you guys today about something that I think is really important and it's an attitude or like a couple of steps in how you can take your life forward. So we're going to go through about three steps in how you can take your life forward in terms of your attitude and maybe a bonus step as well if you guys are lucky. So stay tuned in. So what we're going to talk about today in terms of the mindset in which you can feel like you're moving your life forward is a mindset of responsibility. And what do I mean by that? Well, the thing is, in life, we all suffer from setbacks, and that's something we can't really control. Sometimes they're our own fault, like we could push people away, we can end things, we can make mistakes, that's perfectly normal. But there's other things as well that are just simply beyond our control. And it's no matter how hard you try, whatever explanation you search for, some things you just have to accept are beyond our control. So things like illness, natural disaster, you know, there's a lot of external factors that, you know, you just can't really, um, you can't, fo you can't, you can't say that it happened because of this basically and I think sometimes when these things happen in life you know particularly you know myself I've sometimes looked back and maybe a time period where I had exams and something was going on in my life I, I would sometimes think like oh you know if that hadn't been going on in life I, I sometimes wonder how my exams would have gone you know and I think sometimes we can all be you know we can all catch ourselves thinking that and I think it's really important that uh, at the time, you know, it feels like, oh, you know, it's really unfair. Other people don't have to go through this. But there's a couple of things about that. Number one is you don't really know what people are going through, uh, especially when you see success stories and you see people who are so successful and you think, well, he's only rich because, you know, he never had any of these unexpected things in his life. But the thing is, when, when you see successful stories, when you see highlight reels of things, they've only selected the best bits. They haven't showed you the hard work, the determination or the setbacks that someone has necessarily suffered to get where they are. So that's one thing remember number two is actually you know sometimes things actually work out for the better after setbacks and you know sometimes just working thinking back to yourself thinking, oh if only if only if only it doesn't really get you anywhere in life because at the end of the day you couldn't have changed it and you just have to accept what it is even if you don't necessarily like it and I think currently um, I won't like to point names or say anything but I think it's quite popular at the moment that there is like a, a kind of victim culture and I think it, it, it's a very valid valid point you know in the sense of when things happen to you that aren't you know necessarily your fault or the result of institutional problems or just factors outside of your control that perhaps they are in the control of other people it can feel like you are a victim in life and you know it, it does feel like you have been uh, you have suffered wrongdoing and I'm not saying there's any there's no injustice in that I'm just saying that sometimes people o overdo it to the point where some unexpected setbacks happen in their life and now they expect other people to sort things out for them and unfortunately whether the other person should or not unfortunately it's just not something you can control and that's why I think this mindset of responsibility is really important so what do I actually mean by responsibility? So I outlined a little bit about how setbacks and random things can happen to us beyond our control and sometimes things can even be our own fault. So in terms of sometimes you feel a bit stuck in life because like I said, you can have this mentality where things have happened outside of your control and they've affected you. Like I said, it could be your own fault. It could actually just be something external, okay? So once that happens, then how do you move forward? You feel quite stuck. You feel quite like, oh, you know, why do things keep going wrong for me? And it's it sounds silly, when you put it like this but you know it's actually like a it's a very difficult mindset to get out of and it's a very um it, it can be a very depressing time in people's lives so you know these aren't guaranteed to work but these are three three steps really that I think really help it so the first thing in terms of taking responsibility isn't to necessarily accept that everything's your fault but it's just to accept that you know whatever's happened has happened whoever's fault it is whether it's mine yours somebody else's whatever has happened has happened and I've just you know you've just got to accept that at some point because you, you've already got a lot of external factors to fight you can't be fighting with your own perception of reality so just accept what has happened has happened and it's, it's not going to be easy but it's going to make things a little bit more straightforward okay so that's number one Number two is then, in terms of taking responsibility, it's not accepting the blame for everything, even if it wasn't your fault. Accepting responsibility in this context means that what you need to do is you need to realize that some things are within your control and some things are with, you know outside of your control. And so what you need to now do is you need to figure out what is in your control and realize that, you, that that's the hardest thing you've got to work for, you know, because one of the saddest things in life is if you don't make it in life or you missed an opportunity because you didn't work hard enough, because essentially what that means is, 
all the external factors aligned for you, but the thing that let it down was yourself. And you know that happens to everybody at some point. You know, you don't need to. We don't need to shame people anymore. You know, inside you already know what it feels like, but you know you don't want that to happen. So this is why it's really important to take that responsibility, take control of what you can take control of, and just work as hard as you can in those aspects and realize that you know you can't control everything, but to some degree you can try to work towards a better future. You can aim towards that. You can target towards that, and you can work really hard towards that. And that is what is really within your grasp okay so that's what you need to target and that's in terms of responsibility it's looking around and seeing you know whoever's fault it is whoever caused this whatever random unexpected event happened you know there's nobody to blame you know whoever's to blame whoever's fault it was they're gone now i'm stuck in this mess and i've got to take some responsibility and i've got to take things forward because that's all i can do okay so that's really what i mean by taking responsibility it doesn't mean accepting the fault for things that weren't yours it means accepting that you can to some extent change whatever your fate your destiny is and you can work towards that however hard that may feel and even if it feels like you can't change anything it's better to work towards changing you know work hard rather than just you know accept the apathy so that's what I mean by accepting responsibility okay so that's the second thing so the first thing accept what's happened has happened and now start taking responsibility for taking your life forward and you know, start planning your next moves, okay, so then number three is, actually, how can you, how can you, how can you do that, so what you need to ask is, you need to ask yourself, what can I do from this point onwards, okay, it's really important, you know, when you're going through difficult times or setbacks to feel supported and everything, but, you know, at the end of the day, I hate to say this, but, you know, a lot of times, if you tell your friends, if you tell your family that you, you're going through a difficult time, it's really good that you have their love and their support, you must know that, you know, it's, you shouldn't go through a difficult time unsupported, and if you have that's really difficult for you and I'm sorry to hear that you know but the thing is once once you go through that time you know there's only so much other people can do for you and it's a really hard truth to swallow and it's really hard sometimes to accept that but you know you have to accept that sometimes people can't solve everything for you and and sometimes lending a listening ear it's really good for helping you feel good in the moment but actually in terms of you know it, it's supporting you in the moment and making sure you don't kind of um digress or, or fall backwards regressing but um it doesn't actually advance you forward you know sometimes it can help you make peace and it can help you you know take those responsibilities but in terms of actually advancing your life forward only you can do that so that's why you need to ask yourself what can I do from this point onwards and this is why I was saying sometimes it's not the easiest thing to do because sometimes it really isn't your fault it actually isn't even anyone's fault you know it can be unexpected things they happen in life people die people get ill you know tsunamis earthquakes happen you know whatever it is so it can be really hard but you, you do have to ask yourself what can I do from this point onwards you don't have to ask yourself there and then when the thing happens, but once you're starting to try to move your life forward, that's how you do it. You have to ask yourself, what can I do to try and move things forward? What can I do from this point onwards for myself, okay? So those are the three things really for you guys, okay? And the bonus thing was about gratitude, and sometimes it's really hard to practice gratitude when things go badly, but like I was saying before, when, when you know, sometimes you think to yourself, you know, ah, uh, uh, you know, um, I wish when I had exams or something, I wish those bad things didn't happen. If only I hadn't had them, I would have done so much better or something like that. At any point in your life, you might think, you know, if only things were different. But, you know, at some point, like I said, you've got to accept the reality and you have to understand that perhaps it was better for you, you know. Like sometimes even without setbacks, people can still fail exams unexpectedly, you know. Things can always go pear-shaped even without the presence of something that's quite, you know, painful for you inside. So, you know, it's not a guarantee that you would have moved forward and sometimes you just have to you know you have to accept that and you have to be grateful that whatever happened happened and you know wherever you are now it is for the best and sometimes that's really hard to accept because you know you can look at things and you can think you know well I lost something or you know I, that that really shouldn't have happened compared to other people you know other people have it easier than me and that's why sometimes with our traditional view of gratitude when you look at what you have and other people don't have that's why it can, it can be hard to be grateful but that's why I think and I've talked about before gratitude should be redefined to just being thankful for for where you are now in your current circumstances even if that isn't necessarily the best but just find something that you know you can appreciate because you know 
Uh, unfortunately, you can always lose more, and that's really sad to say, but there you go. So that's your bonus tip was gratitude. So the things you need to ask yourself are, what can I do now? And you need to stop trying to worry about the what ifs and just accept things for what they are. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, check out the links below. Drop me a subscribe or a like, and then, uh, yeah, continue the discussion in the comments as well. Uh, sometimes I do really appreciate the, the support and the encouragement you guys leave in the comments, so I just wanted to say thanks for that. Check out the links in the poetry books, and take care and peace out.